The inspiration for this poem is about a journey of our body, our mind and soul to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that the only way to complete this journey or to gain this nearness is through the Ahlul Bayt and in particular Imam Hussain alayhi salam Bismillah Our journey through life defined by moments of suffering and pain Our destination and abode decided by what we did for Hussein. Skies sought to flood the earth, for with Hussein's birth came the Ark of Salvation, similar to the Ark of the previous nation, one built by the hands of Nuh, one aided by the Holy Ruh. Yet the rains could not contain the flames of the tents, reaching the seventh sky for God wished all to bear witness with their inner eye. The sacrifice of Muhammad and the holy household and the tales foretold, carved into the tablets of old, these tales mold a sculpture and idol within my mind. Forged rapidly by sons slaughtered in dreams and by the martyrdom of the teens. But now I see the home. But now I see the home without a dome, the gate standing on the city to preach, to reach for sculptures and idols made of stone within the home, to remind all that he is alone. Reaching out, breaking them into pieces, my sculpture, my idol falls. In the debris, I see an angel coming near me, Jibra'il. Jibra'il spreads his wings. I hear a call, O creation, who will stand tall with the ark of salvation for the reins of damnation have come. Witness the sacrifice foretold. Seeking to know, I step on Jibra'il's wings to soar to the sky while creation cry and sing poetry and prose for Fatima's rose painted red with his blood. And during this flood, Karbala's sands turn to mud. So I reach a station. Jibra'il advises annihilation through contemplation and supplication. So the I becomes none. Suffocating the ego, I have come to know that I have reached the lot tree. A whisper within me, look to the west and tell your soul what you see. I see the lights of the blessed, Ashura's son, refusing to rise to the skies. Yet the command came, Hussein raises his hands, Allahu Akbar. God is greater. Greater than what we perceive, blind by what we can conceive, yet we believe in the unseen and who he sent. So we hear Hussein's call. All those who took heed now is the time to plead to the flourisher of the seeds and the maker of the reeds, take heed. For the tenth day has found its way and we stand on the ground hearing the chanting and the sounds of the shaitan army while they unsheathe their swords, praising their own lords. Hussein takes no notice of their call. To his right, Abu Fadl stands tall. To his left, a reflection of the best of mankind. And behind him, Zainab confined within her veil. The rain shall fall while the lovers stand tall, seeing none but the one transcending time with the divine united, but the blind seek to slaughter the sighted. Sitting by the low tree, I witness the tragedy. I see the bodies slain become the rain falling from the sky upon the tree and I, yet there is no I. Patiently we wait and observe autumn came the slain continue to rain upon the leaves the leaves the color of red morning the living that do not die dead are those who rebelled against the sky sitting near the trunk of the tree i sit near the trunk of the tree the soil beneath me 
whispers and speaks of pain. Damp from the tears over thousands of years, the low tree cries and mourns for Hussein. Now the companions have joined the low tree, a whisper manifests a speech from thee, Hussein, my beloved, my love, come to me. Yet the tree whispered to me to travel to Sarat al Mustaqim. I begin to step towards the Sarat as Hussein steps on the lands of Karbala. But I'm stopped by a hooded figure. Guarding the straight path, the path of the blessed, not those who gained his wrath. The guardian whispers under his breath, You may tread this path. However, Look within as you witness the Prophet's kin standing on the plains manifesting the divine names as he calls. Is there anyone out there who believes us? Is there anyone out there to relieve us? The guardian raises his arms in supplication and we see the warrior of the bridge guarding the Sarat without his left and his right. His hood slides off as he began to recite the arrowhood a blinding light in plain sight we see one eye pierced with the arrow tip one eye heavenly blood drips he asks us to look within and witness Hussein coming to his Lord as arrows rain and the horses hooves scrape the sands preparing to crush his bones Hussein stands alone the guardian begins to weep and cry, My brother, son of the heavenly mother, there is no other day like this day. Overwhelmed by the guardian's love, overwhelmed by the guardian's love, he was a son of the mother of sons. A new dawn came to be a new son that rose within me. I close my eyes. I close my eyes and raise my hands to plead, My Lord, I am in need on you, I depend. By your might, which none but few can comprehend, My Lord, allow me to ascend and spend in your way, to give everything, my eyes, my bones, and my feet. My Lord, death for me is bittersweet. My Lord, my Lord, even if the fires of hell were to take me, I would dwell there for eternity and tell all those in the deepest cells how I would sell my soul again and again for my master, Abi Abdullah al Hussein. And those who sacrifice their lives for the one, but for, but for those who sacrifice their lives for the one, I would yell, Ya Allah, the flames burn. But for you I yearn, and to you I turn. And the heat from the fire of my heart, from my love, is greater than any heat that would aim to contain and silence my pain for my master, Abi Abdullah al Hussein. I open my eyes. I open my eyes and they fall upon Ashura's red skies, the heavens raining blood, my feet now infused in Karbala's mud. The guardian of the path watches over me, but above all the Lord sees. The guardian of the path watching over me, but above all the Lord sees Shimmer pushing me to my knees. But Lord, if this is what you please take until you are satisfied for my master Hussein, my life and my soul. So my blood flows through the sands, creating rivers across the land. But the Lord's decree is for all those to see, even if the fires reached the seventh sky, our inner eye bears witness to Hussein's sacrifice. The ark of salvation, now the ark now sailing to salvation, while the demons sealing their damnation, no longer bound by any plane, our soul flows through dreams as we sail to Sirat al Mustaqim with the guardian without his hands and his eye, with those who witness the burning tents with the divine leadership that was sent. With our master Hussein, we sail through the rain and we pass the low tree, slaughtered by the blind, slaughtered by the blind, the sighted, martyred for the light with their Lord united, 
slaughtered by the blind, the sighted, martyred for the light with their Lord united. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad.